Hi Aries, welcome in. Carolina Moon here. Getting ready to do your love and relationship reading. Um, this is April 1st through the 15th and happy birthday. Happy birthday to you and happy birthday to me because we are Aries. Yay. Um, super excited to have you with me and just want to thank you all. I super appreciate, appreciate you being here. If you've subscribed, thank you and Thank you so much for hitting the like for me. It really helps support me and to keep this thing rolling. Get um, just happy to, to be here and do this and, and give you messages. I have a guide. Her name is Josephine. And before, when I was sitting here meditating, she was talking to me and she has a couple things that she wants to say. So I wrote them down here. And... Um, Josephine wants to say that she knows that some of you have been dealing with uh, unrequited love, okay? Somebody that's that's keeps coming back around. Somebody that, you know, keeps showing up. <laughs> Someone that does that, you know, peeks in on you every once in a while because, you know, if they, if they completely lost you, um, then they lose their power, right? So they want to continue to have their power so they keep on, um, you know, checking in to, oh, hey, you know. And uh, definitely is unrequited love. Definitely won't, won't go anywhere, darlings. And so Josephine wants you to let go. She's saying that um, this particular energy of this unrequited love is blocking you from new love. And there is somebody new coming. Um, but if you don't let this go, you're literally blocking. You are doing it. Yeah, you're blocking it. So I hope that's a revelation to you from her. Um, she's also saying that um, the more you forgive and let go. So let's just talk about the, the person that rep is represented in this uh, unrequited love scenario. If you can forgive and let go, that would be the best thing. That, that's what you should do because what, what happens is in doing so, you're letting them go, you're forgiving, and you're also opening up more space for uh, the beautiful energy of new love and other love, love from family and friends to come in and fill that space up. Um, so I just really want to encourage you in that. And the other message is there's new love. There's new love. It's, it's here or it's on its way. Um, I really feel like it's here. But, uh, you know, for some of you, it might be on its way when you go through that process of letting go of that um, leaky energy of unrequited love. It's not fair to you. Choose you. And that doesn't mean that you have to make everything right with this other person. What it means is that you have to forgive and let go. This is for you. Okay. Okay. So I pulled some cards. Um, I'm going to be offering a, an extended read on this at the end. You hit the tab and it'll take you right to me. That's, you know, the drill. Anyway, I pulled some cards as I was sitting here talking with Josephine and I got some great cards here. So I'm going to start by talking about these. Actually, you know, I'm just going to let him sit here because I, I want to pull a couple Oracle cards for you and yeah, let's see. See where we are, how we go. Yippee Skippy, new Aries moon. Fantastic. Some gifts coming uh, our way for us Aries this month. It's our birthdays. Okay. very empathic and I feel energies so sometimes when I'm doing these readings I'll feel there's there's some kind of uh, block it's like a stuck 
energy. Maybe it has to do with this unrequited love message. If it's for you, I might be feeling it. All right, love. What do we got? Co-create. Yeah, because I know there's I know there's a lot of you that 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 the love is there. The love has come in. And so now you guys are trying to figure out how to co-create this stuff, right? So yeah. Figuring out, figuring out what which which way do we turn, which way do we go, how do we blend, how do we what steps do we take? You know, just really putting a lot of energy into that, right? Soulmates, I'm telling you. Oh, for those that are stuck in the unrequited love, this is what you have to look forward to here. If you can let go, this is what you have to, you know, uh, my guy, Josephine, she's real bubbly. She's super bubbly and she gets excited. And, you know, she's excited for that to happen for, for those of you that haven't let that go. She's excited for that. Let it go. That new love's going to come in. By the way, that was soulmate. I didn't really <laughs> clarify that soulmates. Okay. Um, and then we have blessed. You're blessed to co-create, right? You're blessed to, to have let go. You're blessed. So this is the gift part of this, this uh, time for Aries. This is the gift. Out of the blue, there comes a gift because... You did the work and you let go and and look, you're blessed. Wow. Okay, I want to pull um, a card from, oh, this is Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck. I want to pull a card from it because it's just so cool. This is my new deck, my new Oracle Deck. And then we're going to get into the reading. All right, my love. Okay, you want me to pick it up? Lord, Lord, take charge. It says, take charge with authority. Take charge of your life with authority. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Okie dokie. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get into this reading here. So we've got, um, we've got some great energies here. We got, you here, this is you. Um, you're represented it as the, the lover's card. So you're you're really being called to make a choice, right? Um, this is about serious love. So this new love, this person that you're so you're you're being called to make a choice uh, if there's two people. So is that that unrequited love? Get out of here and this new person? Yeah, could be. Or there's somebody else, there's a couple choices here, and you're like, which, who do I choose? Um, looks pretty, pretty obvious in this card that the choice has been made. So, yeah, I'm feeling the choice has been made. So you are, you have fallen in love, or you're, you know, you're right there. You're right there. Okay, and the other person is being represented as uh, judgment. Judgment, judgment, judgment. So this is another call. And this is a Scorpio energy and, and we have Gemini energy with the lovers. So this is both of you are, <laughs> you know, it's funny because you're both at this place where you're making a choice. You're making a choice. It feels kind of like this person possibly is from your past, you know, it might be a past friend, person, um, past lover, but it, it real, it feels like a new, it's, it feels new love. So it feels like somebody, um, that you knew or something like that. Um, and then 
I pulled a card for your relationship. Then we got the, the Queen of Swords. So there's a lot of clarity here. You guys are definitely coming together, okay? You're coming together with a very clear vision, visual of what's happening in this in the relationship, how it's it's unfolding and and what you need to do to move forward, you know, the co-creating business, you know, just moving forward. I mean, you've you've it looks like both of you have decided on each other. And now it's about, you know, all the information and the clarity and I've made the choice. Bam, there it is. Um, we're going to co-create. We're going to do it. So, yeah. So then I, I um, pulled a um, your crossing card. You know, crossing card, blocks, got the king of pentacles. So in getting together, y'all have to um, get your money situation handled like you're working on that. But, you know, you both really, th this is your main, your main focus. Your main focus is, is getting your finances all in, that, in the place that you want it, you know. And that's where you both are really putting a lot of your energy. And so there's energy that, you know, obviously can't go into the relationship because you're focusing on this and I'm not saying that's a bad thing um, you know it's very necessary so I'm just saying that's what's happening and this if there's a block it's this one and uh, it doesn't seem like a major block to me um, feels good feels right uh, it's like yeah, you know, we're going to get this thing together and we're going to, this is what we want. We want to sit back there, both of us as the king of pentacles with, you know, everything grounded, everything rolling, everything just happening, you know, and, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so I did pull a card on your finances. And I got the four of pentacles. So this makes perfect sense. You guys are like holding on holding on to your money or, or, you know, spending money to make more money. You guys are really focusing on, on your independence and your, you know, individual, um, earning earnings and stuff like that. So, you know, <laughs> it's fantastic, man. Okay. And then, um, I pulled a card for, um, your spiritual influence. What is the spiritual influence in this union, this this coming together, this new love? And I've got the chariot, major arcana here, major just really uh, moving forward and moving forward fast into what you want because you know that's what you want. And this is, you know, this is cancer energy. This is really going into your new life. And you're going in with a clarity. I mean, you're just, you're going in with clarity. You're like, we're moving forward and we're doing this. And we know what we're doing. It's like you've been through it before. You've, you've gone into, you've had other relationships, unrequited, you know, and other different, different uh, relationships. And you know, no, not this one. Not going to let that happen with this one because I already know. Right? I already know what's going on. I mean, I'm working on this. I'm working on me. I'm I'm gonna be this. This is who I see, and this is what I'm gonna be. And um, wow. And you're both. I mean, that the spiritual influence on this is really, you know, pushing you guys down the path, pushing you in, pushing you into that that co-creating position, moving you forward. It, you know, it's like it's so interesting to me. Um, this is cancer energy. You've got the black horse and the white horse. So it kind of makes me feel like, you know, the two sides of, of the shadow side and, you know, the, the moon, the lit moon, you know, you've got both sides, right? And it just feels like you're still moving forward because of course you can't possibly know everything. You can't possibly know everything that's going to go on, but you're co-creating, you're moving. And that's the influence and the energy that's coming from the spirit. The spirit is pushing you uh, both 
down the path. Keep going. Keep co-creating. And then I pulled a card for um, advice on this situation. And I got the Knight of Pentacles. So it really, you know, it, it goes along with this, uh, this chariot energy of moving you forward and, and, um, and victory. You know, it's, it's like move forward, keep going, keep going for, you know, your pentacles, keep going for your money, keep going for your craft, do the creative thing that makes you you, use your natural talents and enhance them by learning and um, using them to help humanity. I really feel that, you know, that's about your life purpose there. And that it really advises you, hey, keep moving forward in this relationship and move with wisdom. Move with wisdom. Think about what you're, you're doing before you do it. If there's something that you don't understand in the co-creating process, find out the information that you need, you know, by talking to each other and um, compromise and getting other information that you need to help you co-create this, you know, this love because it's beautiful. It's amazing. So, I mean, that's advice. Wow. Okay, guys, we're going to go over into the um, extended read right now and I'll pull cards. I'll get more advice. I'll pull some uh, um, romance angel cards and we'll go from there. Okay. All right, happy birthday, my loves. Love you so much. I'll see you See you next time. If I don't see you, it's extended. It's all good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much love to you. Bye.